Hey guys, just wanted to do a little honest review on one of the coolest little tools I picked up for fishing the other day. It's a uh, multi-tool. This tool is a huge lifesaver when you're out on the water, whether you spin cast or fly fish. I picked mine up from slipperymissile.com. I think they're on sale right now. We got some nippers on that. We got the ultimate nail knot tying tool fork thing. On the other side, we have a nice little hook sharpener. On the top, we have a little needle there to clean hook eyes out. And it's attached to this little retractor so it fits perfectly. Let's go through a little tutorial on how to tie a nail knot with this fork tool. All right, the first knot I'm gonna be tying is the fly backing onto the end of the fly line. So we have backing already on the fly reel. And we're gonna be tying that on to the floating weight forward fly line. All right, so I have my backing. We're gonna take this fork tool Bear with me here. We're gonna place your thumb right on top of that little pad. Right on top of that little pad there. Through the fork. You're gonna wrap it going backwards once, twice, three, four times, five times. Cinch those all up. You're gonna place the tag end of the backing straight up through the fork, pull it out. So it should look like that. You guys can see that, not very well. Should look like, like that. You take your fly line, the back of it, and you slide it down the fork underneath your palm there. Next, you'll need to do a quick little snap to transfer that line onto the fly line. Just like that, tool's done. You're gonna wanna take your backing, pull it nice and tight. Take your fly line, pull that nice and tight. Then you're gonna take your nippers, you're just gonna cut off the ends. Make sure when you're cutting your fly line that you kind of do it at an angle so it's not going to get cut, caught in the reel. There we go. Perfect tie. Nice and strong, not going to break. So once we have our backing attached to our fly line, we're going to want to do the same sort of knot and attach a leader to this end. You're going to take the fork tool once again. You're going to take your leader, the tip of the leader, place your thumb on that little pad, you want about six inches of room there. Down through the fork. One, two, three, four, five. And then the tag end goes up, back through. Looks like that, it's ready to go. Now you're gonna take your leader, put that through the fork. into your hand. Here's the important part, we need to keep the keep your thumb on there and quickly snap the line off onto there. Pull that tight, cut the excess off. There you have it. No fail. So we just tied the backing onto the float line. And then the float line to the leader. For all you spin casters out there, you can use this tool to tie right onto the hook. So you're gonna use the fork tool and you're gonna want it to go sit like this with the eye in the fork. So I'm gonna run the leader up 
through, pull about six to eight inches. We're gonna place that in there. The leader will come down through. One, two, three, four, five. Five wraps, take the tag end, go back up through. Make sure your thumb is on top of this pad. Quickly rip it up. Tighten that. Use this to hook on. Pull that up. Tight. Use the nippers. Snip off the ends. And there you go. Also with this multi-tool, because it has a little point in the top, you're able to clear out any hook eyes that might have shellac in them. Clean out the hook eyes. And we can also, if your hooks start getting dull, because of this little filing piece on the side here, you're able to sharpen your hooks. This tool is a huge lifesaver when you're out on the water, whether you spin cast or fly fish. I picked mine up from slipperymissile.com. I think they're on sale right now. This tool is perfect for when my fingers start getting cold or tired, when they're working slow and I need to tie up, rig up real quick. This is perfect. Awesome multi-tool, really worth the value. You guys have to check it out. Link in the description.